Ghost mode replaces USB cable with the wireless connectivity or with all our devices. So it's one less thing that could fail and that is one less thing, thing to take care of. And instead of having to rely on a wired connection, you have a wireless connection. It's sort of a, a wireless USB device. I really like the way that I'm able to uh, have fun also of what we do. Not only have fun with telescopes, but also have fun with what we develop because I'm confident that it works great and I'm able to have fun with them. Absolutely. So it's, this is. As soon as it becomes no longer fun, then what are you doing, right? Yeah, there what you we, go. What are we doing this there for? It's go. supposed to be fun. Yeah, it has to be fun. Even, even for let more young people approach this type of use technologies and applications. I think it's very important for, uh, I, I see my daughters and I, they, I, 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 I let them watch my videos. I, up to now, they are still not <laughs> astrophotographers, but at least they watch my videos. Right. You know, they, they have the, the, the feeling that we are enjoying what we do. Absolutely. And maybe they get their attention. So one of the most important things about having fun in the hobby is making the experience as seamless as possible. Oh, yeah. The equipment should kind of just disappear into the background, right? The experience is what you want. Yeah. And the equipment, if it's working properly, you shouldn't really even know it's there. There you go. Now That's I, perfect. That's and, perfect. I, even, you see, uh, one of the devices that we have is named the Echo. That means there you go. Okay. Because you never think of it. It does what it has to do automatically. It takes care of you and everything. And, and you don't even have to think about. There is no specific software to do that. It automatically does this thing for you. And you just take care of your imaging. Exactly. That's it, one of the things. One less thing to do. Yeah. And especially at night, especially if you're on a remote setup. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially if you're out in the middle of a dark sky site and you're setting up quickly. Yeah. Uh, to know that it's just going to function, that you don't have to think about all of these things on your checklist. To make your checklist shorter. Right? Sure, sure, of course. What? And one of the things that we released this year related to this problem is the new ghost mode. Ghost the mode. New ghost mode. Yeah. yeah the Ghostbusters, so. <laughs> right? I saw your yeah. video. It was yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's great. So the ghost mode replaces USB cable with the wireless connectivity or with all our devices. So it's one less thing that could fail and that is one less thing, thing to take care of and instead of having to rely on a wired connection you have a wireless connection it's sort of a, a wireless usb device because the computer still thinks you have usb cables right. so you can run any of your softwares you don't have i have to have any specific software to do that it's just the eagle taking care of that and at on your software side, it's completely transparent. You can use right. any software you like, okay. as you do right now, but without USB cables. Hmm. One less thing to, to get worried about. Right, and that's something... And that's why we trap <laughs> the USB cables. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, one of the best things to do in an engineering problem is eliminate what's not necessary. Yeah. And that's effectively what you're, you're doing here, is you're eliminating the chance for anything to go wrong with a cable. Yep. You're eliminating the chance for anything to go wrong with snagging one of those oh, cables yep. in, when it's in motion. Well, with um, the Eagle, we already removed all the problem of the power because thanks to the Eagle, you power all your devices through the Eagle, so you have one single powering going to the Eagle, and all the power cable go around the telescope. So when it moves, searching for your target, everything moves together, and there is nothing that may snag, uh, disconnection, nothing at all. And we, even with the ghost mode, we even improve this thing. And the ghost mode is useful not only for compact telescope, Think about large telescope, large okay. observatories. They may have still the need to use USB because for them, USB, there is space. To use USB is sure. not a problem. What happens if USB cable fails? You connect it to the ghost mode and you can keep everything still running. Redundancy it's like, of some yeah, sort? it's like a redundancy thing. It's a backup solution for your telescope. Now, 
where does the ghost mode live? Is it a separate device? Is it within the new Eagle? It's within the Eagle. Okay. And we made that compatible with all the previous generation Eagles. So all oh, the wow. Eagles owner that owns the Eagle 2, Eagle 3, Eagle 4, right now they can use and enjoy the new ghost mode. So it's just a firmware update? It's a software of the Eagle. It's the Eagle Manager X. Okay. They take control of the Eagle. That's so you can check for connectivity, power consumption, all the data. And it also create the new, allowed to you to use the new Cosmo. Now last year when we were here, you were debuting your new software. Um, that was Play. Play. Yep. And, and we are still updating also Play. We are keep updating both the two level of the software. Eagle Manager X, that works directly with the Eagle, and it's a proprietary thing of the Eagle. And Play is the astrophotography software that okay. we are developing for all Windows computer. Nice. So it works also with in a standard computer, not only Understood. on the Eagle. And we just added the auto focus, auto alignment, auto stacking capabilities, but in order to have a very easy to use system to people introducing in astrophotography. So with, the, with an Eagle, but also with a standard computer, we want to provide an easy to use interface with an easy to use uh, experience for the users that can use our product, but they can use any mount, any camera, any telescope they like. So that's why our principle is to keep the system as open as possible. We don't want anybody to be forced on a specific platform. We want to allow them to use any camera because we don't, you know, Tomorrow, I don't know if some mother will come up with a new solution, with a new mount, with a new camera that I want to use as an astrophotographer. Sure. We are astrophotographers and we develop, yeah, we develop these things because this you is what them. we want to use. Right. You know? But tomorrow, I, I, I don't know the future. So tomorrow they will release another device. And what I know now is that they will release drivers and ASCOM drivers for Windows platform. They this have is, to. They have to. They have to. So right. that's why the Eagle is a Windows computer. So it's already, already compatible. compatible now for the future. It's compatible now for any future software that will maybe innovate in the future. And we want our user, of course we are happy if they use our Esatto Focuser, our sure. Arco Rotator, but they can use you every... You have to. Yeah. You don't have to. And that's the one Keep thing about... Keep it open. Right, open and components, because if you want to upgrade one thing, you only have yep. to upgrade that one thing, yep. which I do appreciate, the ability to have it grow as you grow yep. and learn new things as you have the chance to. Yep. Um, I'm going to pick out one thing that you said, because there's so much there. Yeah. One thing that you said, uh, and that's like the live stacking capability, yeah. because we're hearing more and more and more about that yep. and the technology and the camera sensors. Um, and the speed at which processing is happening now is allowing yep. for that live stacking to be in the actual software and cameras. Absolutely. Live. So that's what we do now with Play. So with Play, you, it's a very easy software to let you connect to any camera with ASCOM. We are even added now, right now, we are writing our code to add also DSLR and mirrorless camera because we all want to make it as open as possible to let you use any camera you like and you point your target automatically, automatically align without any, it's a video, you press one button and it aligns. Then you press one button, you autofocus, you press one add a button and you start capturing more images and it automatically stuck and provides you the preview of your imaging as it's coming live, progressively, easy and free for any camera, any mount, any telescope you like. Free. Free. And and just with the hope that it gets the interest of people and that they, they appreciate what you're doing. Absolutely. And then they're gonna start to buy some hardware. Yep. yep. Absolutely, that's awesome. Now, one of the things that I'd like to know is can we use the ghost mode to capture clouds? Oh yeah, it would be next year. Next, next year, 2025. 20, Excellent. <laughs> 20, All right, 20. thank you so much, Filippo. Thank I really appreciate much. your time. I'm so excited we got the chance to come and talk to you again here at Neve uh, 2024. Amazing stuff here, guys, uh, at the Prima Luce uh, desk. Uh, and we've got more to come. Uh, so check it out in next video. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Great.
I try to be funny. I mean, I, I know when we, if we do all our videos, for example, we have to be technical, precise. Right. Right. But sometimes I release something that no one expects. Some Absolutely. funny thing that, hoop, <laughs> catch also attention, of course. I mean, why don't you have fun with telescopes? You're trying, I, I wonder you're, if... I'm not as funny as you, that's just how no, it is. No, 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 you are fun. I told you, you are fun, but it, it's not. But I told I mean, you, funny looking is different than being funny. Yeah, yeah, I mean... <laughs>